Welcome back. We found a photograph and an old letter inside a clock that belonged to Gabriel's grandfather. And that uh, letter referred to some people named Ritter, which happens to be the German for night. So I'm curious whether or not our grandmother might know something about that. Maybe Harrison Knight was called Ritter before he emigrated to uh, the US. Certainly not be unusual for people to uh, change their name after emigrating to uh, the States. That's it. Take a load off, hon. Can we talk, Gran? Of course, my boy. How can I help? Let's ask about Heinz Ritter. Do you know anyone named Heinz Ritter? Heinz Ritter? Oh, Gabriel, where did you hear that name? I found a letter in Granddaddy's clock. I promised I'd never tell you or your father. But I suppose it doesn't matter now. Tell me, Gran. Your granddad's name was Heinz Ritter before he came to America. He changed it to Harrison Knight legally when he arrived. That's interesting. This also opened up the question about what Schattenjäger means, but let's continue uh, asking about Heinz for a moment. Why did granddad change his name? I don't know. I tried to ask him about his family, his life before America, but he didn't want to talk about it. Never even told me about his name change. I found out one day when I saw his passport in a drawer. Since he obviously found it painful, I never questioned him about it. But I'm sure it wasn't trouble with the law. Your granddad was the best man I ever knew. Hmm. Mysterious. Didn't granddad ever say anything about his past or his family? Only that his family was crazy and that he never wanted to see them again he believed in some family curse thought that he could spare philip and philip's children from what he called old nightmares whatever harrison wanted to spare you though it cost him plenty he never did sleep well and he would often get a far away guilty look in his eyes he was wrestling with something he thought he should be doing some place he thought he ought to be. I don't know how he could think that he should be anywhere but with me and our child. It's a terrible way to live. Hmm. Ominous. Do you know anything else about Heinz Ritter? I've told you all I know about your granddad's past. Now let's ask about Schattenjäger. Maybe she knows what it means. Have you ever heard of a Schottenjäger? 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 How are Gabriel? I haven't heard that word in years. My goodness, you've given me a chill. Your granddad used to say that sometimes in his sleep. Really? Do you know what it means? No, I'm afraid not. I asked him about it once. I don't think he answered me. Hard. Hmm. Thanks, Gran. Too bad she doesn't know what it means, but it definitely has something to do with our family. Oh well, I'm sure none of that is going to be important. Let's focus on uh, voodoo, which means we're done here. So, let's um, say goodbye to Granny and head back out into the city. Well, Gran, I better get going. All right, dear. Well, that was nice. All right. Now, a new location has opened up because we talked about uh, our mother, Margaret Templeton Knight. St. Louis Cemetery number one. However, first, I'd like to go to the police station because um, our... Apparently, our friend Detective Mosley, who we haven't met yet, left some photos for us there. 
And plus, we might want to talk to him about these voodoo murders that have been going on. This is probably one of my uh, favorite musical themes in the game, the background music for the police station. It somehow just seems really suitable for a police station. I have no idea why, but I just seem to think that. The official seal of the New Orleans Police Department highlights the tile floor. Gabriel is standing in the lobby of his friend Mosley's precinct. It smells like a cross between a hospital and brewery. Okay, is that normal for police uh, precincts? It's an antique umbrella stand. Nice coat rack. Gabriel is... The ceiling high windows are unchanged elements of this renovated French quarter building. A swinging door connects the lobby and office area. Gabriel can't read the bulletin board from where he's standing. Okay. Well, maybe we'll read it later. There's a photocopy machine in the office area. There's a temperature gauge on the wall near Mosley's office. It's in a locked cage. They must be concerned about the budget. Okay. That's weird. Mosley's office door is unassuming, unlike Mosley himself. A uniformed officer of the New Orleans Police Department. Gabriel can't do a thing with the mirror from where he's standing. She's not bad. And she is a police officer, so be careful what you say, Gabriel. The desk sergeant looked like a poster boy for heart disease. 30 extra pounds between his armpits and his belt and a complexion of consistency of grey oatmeal. In other words, a typical product of good sudden cooking. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk to him. Hey, nice precinct. Think so? That's peachy. That means more to me than you could know. This sergeant is... Hey, hey, it's a beignet guy. Great, I'm starved. Beignets. I like beignets. I can't do anything now. In case you're wondering. Stay put, you. Hey, grab me three, would ya? Sure. We didn't have any choice but to stay put. And now I'm hungry. Thanks. Hmm, interesting. I wonder if this will be use uh, re will be relevant at some point during the game. A beignet vendor has stopped outside the police station. He must do great business here. Yeah, I would guess so. At least going by the stereotype for cops. Kind of quiet in here today. Yeah, summer's like that. It's too muggy to mug, too hot to heft. How clever. It's a gift. Anyway, what I was about to say is that the desk sergeant is actually voiced by Jim Cummings, who is quite a well-known voice actor. So, what's new around the old police station? Well, we're now allowed to shoot chatty pedestrians on sight. That sounds convenient. I like it. I got the feeling he doesn't like me. So, anything interesting happening around here? Look, I got a job to do. Chat with someone else, huh? You're no fun. 
Can we go through here? No one goes back there until I say so, mister. Sorry. I guess not. But I want to talk to Mosley. We don't even know for certain if he is in his office, but anyway. Anyway, the pictures were supposed to be at the desk sergeant, so hopefully we can ask him about it. Got a second, officer? What can I do you for? So, we can uh, go through the normal list of questions. What can you tell me about voodoo? Me? Nothing. I'm a Catholic boy. Fat lot of help you are. What do you know about the voodoo murders? I'm not allowed to give out information on police cases. That makes sense, I guess. What can you tell me about New Orleans? I'll tell you, I'm glad as hell it's not Mardi Gras. If it weren't for that one month a year, being a cop in New Orleans would be a real pleasure. As it is, I'd rather stick behind this desk. And stick you will, if the weather is as muggy as everyone says it is. What can you tell me about New Orleans? Best food in the world. You can get it right here in New Orleans. Muffalata sandwiches. Mm. Mm. Beignets. Good Cajun coffee. Yep. Man can die happy in this city. I'm a coronary, I'm sure. What can you tell me about New Orleans? Well, I love this city good as anybody, but I already gave you my opinion. Why don't you check out the Travel Bureau? Alright, alright. I'm betting he probably doesn't know what a Schottenjäger is, but anyway. Have you ever heard of a Schottenjäger? Can't say that I have, but it sounds dirty. It does? Okay, if you say so. Tell me about yourself. Who, me? I'm the Death Sergeant Frick, why? Frick? That's right. You got a problem with that? I frickin' don't. Not at all. Tell me about yourself. You see that front door? Yeah. Well, I watch people come in. See this book? Yeah. Well, I write people's names in it, see? People that bother me. Want me to put your name in this book? Uh, I think not. That's what I thought. Friendly fellow. Tell me about yourself. I hate people who ask stupid questions. It's not even really a question. I'm here to see Detective Mosley. He's out at a crime scene. Sorry. Ooh, a voodoo murders crime scene? There is a slight possibility that we might be interested in that. Where is the crime scene? Is it related to the voodoo murders? Crime scene information is police confidential. We don't need any more looky-loos than are probably already there. Oh, come on. We need to see Mosley. Come on, you can tell me what the crime scene is. Look, I know the papers got everybody stirred up about these killings, but that don't make it public information. Back off. So this is a new voodoo murder then? Hey, I didn't say that. You'll read all about it in the papers tomorrow, I'm sure. I guess we'd better check the paper again tomorrow then. Please tell me where the crime scene is. Look, buddy, you keep it up and there'll be a crime scene right here. Hey. About Detective Mosley. I told you he's not here. Oh well, until we can figure out where he is or he comes back, I guess uh, he'll have to wait. Let's ask about those photographs, anyway. I was supposed to pick up some photos from Detective Mosley at the front desk. Is that right? And who are you? My name is Knight. Gabriel Knight. Yeah. I got something for you, all right? As soon as you're done talking, I'll give it to you. Why do you make that sound so ominous? Anyway, we need to quit out of this uh, screen before he'll give it to us. Here's that envelope for you. Gabriel Knight. Thanks. I'm guessing he probably doesn't know that there's case-related information in there. But we'll have to see what it is in the next video.